So now it's time to start with the JavaScript part of the love calculator application. So for that we need to use the script.js file and I have already linked this file inside the index.html with this particular line of the code which is our script tag. So coming back to the script.js file, so instead of that first we need to create the calculate love function because we specify an on click event to this calculate button. So if I come back to the index.html you can see this is our on click event we have specified inside the calculate love. So coming back to the script.js, so here we'll be using the function keyword, then pasting the name of the calculate love function. Now inside of that, first we need to get the IDs of these two elements, which is this input type, because according to the values of these two input type, we want to calculate the love logic. So for that, here I will be again coming back to the script.js. So first I need to create here two consts of name one. So it is going to be like document dot get element by id. So we actually want to get the ids of these two elements because we have specified the id which is name one and name two. So here we have specified the ids then inside of the double quotes we need to specify the id to name one. Then we want to get the value and then we also want to apply a trim to this one. So this trim trim function is actually used to actually remove the extra spaces before the name and after the name. So what I actually want to do here, I want to say to you like if I just use here a console log statement, console.log if I use here and if I press here a name one, save it. Alright and if I just come back to the browser, press the F12 key. And if I enter here a name like VJ, so it is going to display the name as usual like VJ. But if I enter here a lot of spaces, right now you can see the name is entered inside the after there is a lot of spaces. If I click on calculate, then it is going to display the name very simply. If I just refresh it again, if I want to show you again VJ, and if I click on calculate, then you can see there is no space present. It's actually used the trim. All right. Now if I just remove this value dot trim, all right, and press save it, and if now if I press here lot of spaces, now it will be considered as an invalid input. You can see now it's actually give me the exactly a tag name. We also need a, here a value, right? Control save it again. Press the spaces here. Use the picture. If I again press, then you can see now the name is actually has some spaces. So this will be considered as a invalid input so that is the reason we need to use here a trim function all right which is used to trim the empty space before and after the text so if i again enter here a vj with some spaces now if i click on calculate now you can see there is no space just only we have the five characters of the name all right so that is the reason we have used here a trim function to this input value when we are getting it from the input type and initializing it with to this particular name one variable similarly we need to also add the value means we need to get the value of the other input element which is the name two so here we need to change the id because the id is going to be the different if you see inside the index.html the id name is name two and the first one is name one now after getting the values once the value is empty, if I show you in the final version of the project, if I click on calculate, then you can see there is a alert box pop up which actually say, please enter both names. So we want to add this particular condition check to this project, which we are actually going to develop means which we are actually developing. So for that, we need to here specify some conditions. So just using the if condition here and then we we'll just start the if block. So first we need to check for the name value. So name one, which is a variable that we have created means initialize at the top. So if it is equal to, so we are actually here using the three equal to sign if it is empty. And also we need to here either of one is actually going to be empty. So we want to display the alert pop-up. So again here I enter three values and then we need to add here a pop-up. So here alert. And then we need to enter the message. If I come back here and I'm just going to copy this message to save a little bit of the time. Paste it, 
click on the ok then coming back to the application version that we are actually developing if i click on the calculate then you can see now the alert pop-up is appearing okay so we actually enter the logic check for the invalid input and also for the empty inputs now it's time to specify the else flow because if these two conditions met the requirement values are properly defined and if it is not empty then we want to perform the love logic so here we need to use the const and then we need to actually use the love percentage variable so we need a one variable so it is going to be like a love percentage and the value is actually going to be like math dot floor and then we need to wrap this because we want to randomly generate the logic because there is no such other way to develop the love logic we need to randomize the values so here we need to use the math because we are performing the calculation so we need to use the math so random and then we need to multiply it with the 101 now why i have actually here used the 101 the reason for that if i use here a hundred then that value of the hundred is excluded it is not included so it will maximum gives the result to like 0 to 99 the maximum value that it can give is actually a 99 so there may be a chance that there is a match of like 100% between the two person which is actually a 100 number we can get it so for that reason we need to specify error 101 so that we can get a 100% match between the two person names which is a 100 value actually but in case of the love calculator i can say that the 100% match between two persons also this math dot random actually gives us a decimal value means there is a point based value a float value i can say that so for that reason we need to wrap this entire math dot random value whatever we are getting with from this to this particular floor function so that we can get a positive value all right and after that we need to create a, a, another variable which is a const and then we need to use a, a result so this is actually used to display the result so for that we need to actually fetch the element id because there is, we need to bind this result element to the javascript so that we can access it so for that again we need to use here a document dot get element by id and then we need to specify the id name so here we need to use the result now i have not used here a value because we actually not getting the value we want to display the value to this particular result element so that is the reason i have not used here a dot value this is just a basic javascript if you are familiar with the fundamentals of the javascript so now after that we need to actually construct the result logic so here we need to add the result dot and then we need to update its inner html so inner html and then we need to use here a template string so after that equal sign we need to here specify the template characters which is a key present at the top of your tab key all right then we need to actually terminate this template string instead of that first i'm going to use the dollar symbol and then need a user curly brackets and then i will be specifying the first name which is the name one then i will be using here and this is not a operator it is actually a text all right so take care this thing because it is a template string so whatever we will write a logical stuff that we want to replace we are actually specifying it with the use of the dollar symbol and inside the curly brackets then here i will be specifying the name two which is the partner name and then after that we need to construct the logic like this message so like a love percentage love percentage now this love percentage is going to be display with this particular variable value but we need to actually apply some condition so first i'm going to complete the code then i will be explaining you so the love percentage now the love percentage value is also completed also i'm going to click it here like view and come back to the world wrap so here you can see every code inside this particular same view port of the visual studio code window so we need to actually construct the love percentage if i just simply control save it and if i enter here a value like pj and then a name of any partner name so now you can see j and rani love percentage is 34 now it's actually showing the percentage but if i enter here like vj which is the final version of the application and if i enter here calculate now you can see not a great match keep looking so we actually want to display these conditional message also so to do that we need to use if else ladder statements or i can say that else if ladder statement 
of the JavaScript. So we need to apply the multiple conditions and update the value of this love percentage variable. According to the value of this love percentage, we want to construct the result inner dot HTML. So here we need to add the if condition. Instead of that, first we need to add the love percentage value. So if it is smaller than 30, we actually want to construct the result in dot html. So I'm going to copy this, which is like a result in dot html. So it is like we want to actually type it first because if I directly copy and paste it, maybe a problem can arise. So that is the reason. So we want to concatenate it. So here I will be using the plus and also initializing it a new value. So whatever value is present, these values will be added to that one and also initialized. If you're familiar with the basic part of this JavaScript syntax, right? Then first I need to here specify the br tag so that the message will come to the next line of the result division. All right, so that is why I am actually using here a br tag. Then note a great match. Okay, and then keep looking. Okay, guys, so this will be the message. If the log percentage is below 30, then in the else if, we need to specify the else if condition. And also here we need to specify the log percentage. So if the log percentage is greater than equal to 30, and then we need to specify a logical end operator because we need to make sure both condition is true. Then log percentage is smaller than 70. So if it is that a case, then we want to construct the result logic. This is a result dot in an HTML. We want to update it. So just we need to change the message, which is there is a potential. Potential, or I can just give it a try. Give it a try. Right. So this will be the message for the love percentage value. If it is like greater than 30, means greater than or equal to 30, or if it is smaller than 70. Then in the else part, just simply update the value like if I copy it and paste it and then we need to update the value great match and then this one and then love is in the air okay so this will be the message of course you can add more condition if I now control save it now this is the application that we are actually building this is the final version of the application so now coming back to the version that we have developed inside this particular module. So here I will be entering my name which and then the name of the partner name which is Rani. So you can see Vijay Rani love percentage is 49. There is a potential give it try. So we are actually getting this. There is a potential so because the love percentage is 50. So we are actually getting this particular if condition value. Now if I enter a different name like a different partner name now you can see still we are getting this one and if i enter a, a different one now great match because we are getting the value greater than 70. so yeah our love calculator application working fine so that's it for this entire module and that's it for this video if you like it then please leave a review because your review definitely going to help me to reach more students so thank you for watching and i will see you in the next module thank you very much